What I don't think is working well is the outreach to government and the penetration of the technology into government itself. And it's just, it's, it's very, very difficult to change uh, the practice of people in government doing their work because they don't want to be bothered with new technology. And unless you have something that is brought in by one of their own trusted members, you can forget it. That's my, my firm belief. It's very hard to know how to interest government people. In fact, it's very hard to know how to interest anybody if you're a pure technology developer. Because you come up with what you think is the greatest idea, and you show somebody and they sort of say, oh, how does it apply to me? And you explain to them, but unless you've actually built it, and you put it in their desktop, and you show them how it works, uh, it's not a sense, it's not a lack of imagination as much as people are not sure of the ramifications of adopting this new technology. So the things, the projects that have worked best have always had someone from the government coming into the research lab and sitting there and working with the researchers over a period of at least two years and then taking this technology back into his own desk and then showing his friends this is how it works. So most recently I've got a project from the National Science Foundation but not in DG, in a separate um, channel, separate program, to study information rich environments to study people like in newsrooms or somewhere, and to look at how networks of trust and information flow grow. So if you can identify the individual in there, the one who you trust to tell you something, and you can get that guy to adopt this new idea, then the, you have a chance at moving new ideas, new technology into some government office. If I were in the government today, and I was interested, and I didn't know anything about digital government, but I knew that the guy in the next office or the next agency was, I think the first thing I'd ask him is, is it possible to get anything understandable out of these researchers? Or am I just going to hear a bunch of high-level technology spout? And um, there are some people in the community who are very good in the, uh, from the research side at reaching out and actually making their technology and their ideas understandable. I think those are the people one, one has to identify and target and help them to bring the message through. The, the, the digital government community has grown in breadth and in depth, and you can see all the indicators. There's more than 100 papers submitted to this conference, which is way more than we ever thought about. There's a lot more people, almost 200 people registered for the conference we start seeing uh, professional quality publications and, and websites and newsletters and so forth coming out. What we still need to do, I think, are two things. The first one is we need to reach out internationally. Uh, next week I'm going to Amsterdam. People in Holland are starting a new research institute for e-science. And a lot of the lessons we've learned here, they need to learn too. People in Taiwan have recently started a digital government program and an institute there, and they also are, they would have come here except for the SARS scare. We have the international panel and a birds of a feather session today, later today. Um, but there's a lot more that can be done, and there are people all around the world interested in this topic. We get emails from all over. So that's one thing that we, we need to focus on more. Another thing is inside the country, we need to bring the message of digital government and the fact that it is it involves almost any aspect of IT coupled with almost any um, of the social sciences as they pertain to government and governance. We need to reach out and let more people know about this. You often get a blank stare when you say digital government and they sort of try to imagine what this might mean. And once you explain all the different things that it might mean, people get excited and they say, oh, you mean government can do this for me, and that for me, and this for me? And you say, yes, that's what government is about. It's actually trying to do this, it just doesn't have the tools. It's our job to make the technology come to the, to the forefront so that people can unleash their imagination and say what they would like. And then it's our job to deliver. But today, people don't yet know that they have the freedom to dream because they can't imagine how to take Google and turn it into something that they can use to to find out about the rules if they're building uh, a, a new addition to their garage or how to use uh, information 
summarization if they want to find out all the, the, the tax code implications for something they're doing or whatever it might be. So we need to tell people enough that they can dream and come back with their, their requests to us.